welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this utterly adorable little snowman using mason jar lid rings and an ornament that I found at Dollar General. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to make it. All right, y'all. Do you want to build a snowman? That's what we're going to do right now. And what you're going to need first off canning jar lids now i do a lot of canning y'all have probably seen photos of my garden so y'all know i have tons of these but for the purpose of this video i bought them brand new at walmart okay you can find these at yard sales you know antique stores <laughs> usually has bags and bags of these you don't have to buy them brand new just look around goodwill has them a lot of times for the bottom part of our snowman you're going to need 21 of the wide mouth rings okay like i said these came from walmart you get the rings and the little lids you get 12 in a pack so get two boxes of that because like i said you're going to be using 21 for the body and then for the top part of the body you're also going to need 21 of the regular mouth lids and bands just the bands really because the lids we might use those for something else okay we're just looking for these you're also going to need some pipe cleaners i finally found the white ones at walmart so i'm going to go ahead and get one of those out you're going to need pipe cleaners and some spray paint i use the rust oleum two times ultra cover paint and primer this is just regular old gloss white some kind of ribbon i have this black ribbon and this kind of burlap looking ribbon and these adorable little snowman heads i found these at dollar general how cute are they they were three dollars each and they do light up see his little cheeks light up how cute is that so you're gonna need one of those per snowman now let's see what else do you need you need some buttons you need to knock your glue gun over we need some buttons and these came from walmart as well all right so first off and this is the really only tricky part of the craft is you need to take all 21 of your of your rings here and thread them onto your pipe cleaner now as you're putting them on here do you see like kind of how they're kind of like folding in on themselves like this that's what you're looking for okay you don't want them like all willy-nilly because then when you try to make your little circle for your snowman, it's going to be all cattywampus and it's not going to look good. And this bottom is going to be all lumpy and you don't want a lumpy bottom. So just thread all of these on there. Here's that everything after this is relatively easy. Now you can use twine for this, but you know what? I found that you can get a much tighter fit if you're using a pipe cleaner. And the reason why we're not painting these first is... You're going to see here in a minute, you're going to have to twist these and manipulate them a little bit to try to get them to fit together. And if you paint them first, then you run the risk of chipping your paint, scuffing it, you know, messing it up. So we're just going to spray paint it after we get all of these together. Okay, so I believe this is all of them. I believe that was 21. Yeah, I think so. All right. So anyway... Just kind of get them to where they're kind of fitting all together. Like I said, this is the tricky part. Now you just want to twist your pipe cleaner together. And it can kind of help if you can lay it down like this. Pull it really tight and then twist it together. Give it several really good twists. And... I'm going to trim the excess end off of this pipe cleaner here and right there. Okay, so now you just want to fan these out. And you know what? You could paint these orange as well and then make really cute pumpkins. Okay, so just fan them out like this. These ones all kind of fit together. See, if you can get this one to kind of fit down inside of that one just like that all right so now you're going to do the same thing with the smaller ones put 21 of them together fit it together just like this don't worry about it being a little bit loose because once we put glue on here it's all going to hold it together okay so once i get the other one put together i'm going to take them outside and i'm going to give them one or two good coats of this spray paint and then we'll come back 
and we're going to put the rest of it all together. My paint has dried and so that y'all didn't have to sit here and watch me hold these together waiting for the glue to set up. I went ahead and used my hot glue gun here and just glued the two together. Now the bigger rings of course are on the bottom. The smaller rings are up here. And then I had jostled the rings around a little bit and they got all cattywampus so that you could see the rings. So I went back with the paint and just touched up a few spots here and there. Okay, now with our buttons, and this is the easy part, with our buttons, all we're going to do is find a place where the rings are kind of, you know, like up and down like this. And this looks good right here. I'm just going to glue a few of these buttons right down the front like that however many you want to put on here i mean i'm not going to put all of these on there all right hold still now i want this button right here there we go and people are probably saying well, why are you making this out of these canning rings you know it's a waste of rings you know what this is something really fun for kids to make okay have fun with the kids <laughs> you know it's it's a fun decoration I don't like that there. Let's take that off. Put another one. Um, it's just a fun decoration. It doesn't really have to have a purpose. Just me and my kids like to have fun putting all kinds of stuff together like this. It's just it's such good memories for them, you know. Like just making fun little Christmas decorations. All right, put that there. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just gonna put big old blobs of hot glue here like that and then glue his little noggin on let's see just like that don't want to put arms on this no i don't that's just that's just me so anyway now i have some of this ribbon and i was going to use the black ribbon but i'm like you know there's black in the hat and then the black buttons and you know i didn't want to have too much of that going on so now I have some of this burlap ribbon and all I'm doing is I'm just tying it around his neck sort of like in a scarf like fashion. I want to tuck that down there so that you can see his little his little smiling face. So what I like about these little styrofoam heads is the switch to turn them on and off is on the very back. And um, there is a screw off battery compartment type deal back there where, you know, if you want to. You can replace the batteries if the batteries should run down. I know some of these little light-up decorations don't have that, but I was pretty happy to see that this one did. All right, so now that is going to be his little scarf, and I have like a bunch of little um, Christmas picks, and now that I say that I'm looking around and I don't see one, a bunch of Christmas picks from Dollar Tree. Actually, here's one right here, but it doesn't have any red berries. I think I wanted something like some red berries just to stick right there. Or I have some of these. I could stick one of those just right there. Maybe like a green one or something, you know, just to give it a little bit of color. That would be cute. Let's glue those on there. All right, right there. Let's stick that here. Do we have a smaller one? I don't know. Let's take a look-see. There's one. Now watch me pour these all over the place. I'm kind of like the Julia Child of crafters, y'all. I make messes. Well, that's the fun part of crafting. All right, let's see if I have maybe like one more. Here's a tiny one I could put like right there. Just to give it a little bit of color. There we are. Well, that's pretty cute. All right, so now I'm just going to trim this ribbon just a little bit better than what I had it like that. All right, so let's get this, get over there, get that button out of here. And I think my little snowman is done. I do have some hot glue gun strings that I need to go back and get off. Whoops, and there's a tiny little bit of paint on that button. You know what, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to get the paint off of that button. But it's okay, if you do get paint on a button or something like that, you know, you can take just a little bit of nail polish remover on a Q-tip and just get it off of there. But anyway, our little snowman guy is done. Where's the switch? Oh, it goes up and down instead of sideways. Duh. There we go. How cute is that? That is absolutely a stinking adorable and I'm very happy with it. 
a very cute and easy little decoration that kids will really enjoy helping you to put together. He is done. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed making this one. I did. It was a lot of fun. Do I want to add some greenery here? I will nitpick something to death. I might add a little piece of greenery. I don't know. Might be. Anyway, I hope you liked it. So if you would give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.